Grandmother was old and in pain, but she's at peace now. Yeah, I'll miss her a lot. Like she's always been here, you know? I know. I'm only sorry you never had a chance to meet your grandfather. Oh, he looks so wonderful in his uniform. Maybe that's why you married a Navy man yourself. <laughs> Could have had something to do with it. Mind you, your father was a fine man. I wish I'd been able to get to know Dad. As an adult, I mean. So do I, Zach. But I'm glad he lived to see you graduate from Annapolis, keeping the Navy and the family. Oh, he was so proud of you that day. I wonder how he would have felt about me quitting the Navy after now. You didn't quit, Zach. You're still in the reserve. Anyway, your father would have been proud of you no matter what. I guess so. I never really knew how Grandpa died. World War II, wasn't it? Not exactly. His plane went down three days after the war ended. It was never found. And Grandma lived alone all those years, never knowing what happened to him. She must have been a strong lady. She just refused to accept that your grandfather was dead. I think she always hoped that he'd just walk in the front door one day. She kept all the letters Daddy ever wrote to her, and the newspaper clippings. She wanted you to have them. It was so ironic. He survived four years at Hill and then just disappeared. period. Thank you. 
Caught you at a bad time. I can always come no, back later. No, no, come in, please. Now let's start with your real name. Well, okay, Winifred Van Oss, sir. But my friends call me Billy. Well, Billy, it is. And knock off the sir routine, will you? My name's Zach. Mind if I finish off? Sure, go ahead. Thank goodness your equipment's compatible with mine. Well, I never doubted it. you the fourth generation of your family to pass out of Annapolis, Zach. Yep. That's a great background for a career sailor. Yeah. So why'd you quit? Seal and Nam, two performers. <laughs> hey, look, forget it. I hear you're a great architect, too. Maybe I just figured it was time to start building something. Instead of just tearing it down. So you prefer tempura, sukiyaki, shiosaki, or sushi? Sushi sounds great, Zach. You got it. I'm going to shower off. Make yourself at home. with you. Dinner's on the way. Great. Maybe not. Maybe not in the sea after all. I'd starve if I had to eat with these all the time. You're doing just fine. 
Remember, only move the top one. Well, how's the search coming? Not bad. I've narrowed the probable landing zone. There's a chance they came down on land. Well, great. Mm. Can you work out where? Mm. Not exactly. Don't forget, we're working on probabilities with data more than 40 years old. So what are our chances? Mm. Actually, they're pretty good. But I can still only give you a search zone somewhere on the coast of Thailand. You're doing a great job, Billy. No promises, no guarantees, okay? Okay. You don't really expect to find your grandfather's remains, Zach. It's been too long. Just humor me, huh? You know, I checked the lady bills from the Catalina. It was a routine flight. There was no gold or anything on board. Well, I didn't think there would be. So what are you really after? A link to the past. A valuable piece of history. Now, according to the records, the typhoon was turning in towards the Thai coast when the last signals were received. Hmm. Just five more keys to go and we'll get the coordinates. isn't helping, you know. Three. Four. Five. Commander, this is sexual harassment. Well, you can't force a willing. With a sack. Long way tomorrow. Sleep well, Udon. A big mother. <laughs> Udon, want to learn English? 
Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Pepper pickled peppers. Check around over here, Udon. Lieutenant David Schroeder, navigator. Kato! Was here, Mr. Sack! Three days! American? All Americans rich. Who are you guys? Businessman. What you call? Free enterprise. What your company called? Assholes Incorporated. Mr. Sack! 
So you fight good, eh, Yankee? You didn't have to kill him. I do what I want. Now I'm gonna kill you. Big Yankee. Maybe I don't kill you. Go piss up a rope, asshole. now. Cop couldn't crop. You speak our language? Just a few words I learned from my friend. These guys? Still, there are many bandits like them, running drugs and guns from Burma and Laos.
ของแม่หน่อยถึงเวลาของแม่แล้วตัวจนเลยดัดอันกี้จะต้องเจอ no time ยิ่งใจตัวเล็กนี้ตาอีกอินดัสทรีลายกันเองดอกชายชายI don't think you should say too much of this man. And I do not think that you can tell me what to do. Besides, it is none of your business. You're a big man, American. Can you fight? 
bit. You call me Zach, will you try? Feel with stone. But I punch hard. See? Very good. You try. I get you some bandage. You scare you hurt your hand, maybe, huh? with you, Chai. Can we leave it at that? But I am champion here. Okay. You're champion. I love it. We fight. Now? Now, what'll it prove? That I'm still champion! <laughs> Call you the winner, okay? Yes! 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 It's okay. I'm just a little jumpy, that's all. 
I know the feeling. I've been wanting to talk to you. There hasn't been much time. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry about your village and that lady. She was my mother. No power, no matter. Death is part of life. Grieving is a private thing. You speak very good English, Sue. My mother sent me to American school in Bangkok. My name is Sue, not Sue. In Thai, Sue means bad luck, but Sue means beautiful. You certainly live up to your name, Sue. So how did you end up a grunt? Grunt? Oh, a soldier. I came home as a teacher. There was no peace. I could not stand there watching them destroy everything. Well, can't the army protect the villages? They try. We have a fine army, but our borderline is very long, and much of it is through thick jungle. Our army just is not big enough. So you organize the villages to take care of themselves. I try. Our government does the best it can, but the jungle is full of drug smugglers and gun runners and bad students turning into killers. But what of you? Why were you in the jungle? I was searching for my grandfather's aircraft. It went missing just after World War II. That was the plane we saw you at. Yeah. I need to go back. I have to bury what's left of my grandfather and my friend Udo. I'll take you there. Rest in peace, Grandpa. Will your government take them home? That'll be up to their relatives. I suppose you will leave us now. Soon. But there's something else I have to find. What is that? That plane was flying my grandfather from Japan to the Philippines. It got caught in a typhoon. It was blown miles off course. Must have headed for Thailand in the hope of getting down safely. Grandpa was in Japan just after the surrender. He stole, well, souvenired he would have called it, a Japanese sword. From the description in his last letter, I believe that sword to be Kananote, and of the goddess of mercy. You came all this way for a sword? A special sword. Made by one of the greatest masters of all time, Nakamitsu. It was used by Odu Nobunaga and later by Togawa Iyasu, two of Japan's greatest warriors. It's a Japanese national treasure dating back to the 16th century. You speak as though the sword is a god. It means so much to me. Since my grandfather took the sword from Japan, I consider it my giri to return it. Giri? It's a Japanese concept. It's... Well, there's no word for it in English. It's like... duty or honor or even debt, but... To a Japanese, giri means all these things and more. Well, why should this mean so much to you? I mean, you are American. All my life I've studied Bushido, Way of the Warrior. I cannot ignore my giddy.
You know, I heard stories from the old people who say there is a Japanese sergeant, a Kimura they call him. He lived in a jungle for many, many years. He used to uh, raid the villages for food. I think maybe he's still around. Oh, he'd be very, very old now. Well, that's incredible. But if he's still holed up somewhere, he could have the sword. I think we asked Jerry. He said he'd been to Kimura's cave before, but that could be cow shit. Bullshit. Who's Jerry? Oh, he's American. From Vietnam. A deserter. A gun runner now. He comes to us for food sometimes. Sounds like a real sweetheart. <laughs> Jerry's what you Americans call a 19 carat asshole. Thanks, Charlie. I needed that. I needed what you gave me, too. It's only Jerry. You want me? I want you. I got a headache. Looks like you had some neighborhood redevelopment. What was your outfit? 82nd, Genoa and Redot. I had two tours. Then went over the hill. Boy. Medics wanted to send me home with a purple heart. Figured one eye wasn't enough, and um. Two eyes weren't good enough for a lot of guys. How'd you catch it? Ah, a little girl, about 12. I knelt down, gave her a Hershey bar. She had a bayonet behind her back. No mind. I blew her slope head all over the jungle. Everything you said about Jerry was right. I say you 19 carat asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, man, you can't keep a secret in a small town. What do you know about a Japanese sergeant? Now well, I worked for a crowd oil company a couple of years ago. We found his cave. One guy went in. Just never came out alive. Was Kimura there? Didn't wait to find out. The guy got staked on fungi. I had more bamboo sticking out of him than a Chinese sunshade. We just grabbed the body and let out of there. Could you find your way back to the cave? <laughs> Why should I? I'll pay you. What's your price? How about a case of Mekong? Deal. Is that Connors? Uh, you know Sue, eh? <laughs> Not as well as I'd like to. But as good as you're ever going to. We got a lot of traveling to do tomorrow. Best got an early night. That stuff will rot your brain. No sweat. Good job, and ain't got much to work on, huh? What's so special about the cave? What do you expect to find there? It's none of business. I can understand Grandpa taking the sword. It was just the spoils of war. How did you find the aircraft? They must have been searching for it when it went missing. Yeah, but they didn't have computers then. <laughs> so, you're a computer expert too, eh? Oh, I had a little help from a friend. What? Nothing. Much further? See that rock with a heart on? From there we take my boat. Cost you an extra case. Thought you said you had a boat. What do you expect, Queen fucking Mary?
What if the sword is not there? Well, I'll just keep searching. If anyone found it, they wouldn't just throw it away. It's just too beautiful. Is it that important to the Japanese people? They're offering two million dollars for its return. Two million dollars? Kaishaku. Kaishaku. He's the right hand man. He cuts out the head to save the dying warrior needless suffering. Hell of a cure for a gut ache. December 1987. I cannot remember the day. I am weak with jungle fever and prefer a warrior's death. Hey, you read that goop shit. Listen to this. Kamir is writing to his wife. It is my great shame that I killed an American after the war had ended.
I had heard of our Emperor's speech, but believed it was lies. I could not accept surrender. My seppuku will serve to atone for my crime and apologize to the Son of Heaven. Apologize, my ass. Sir! I'll take the sword, Zack. Don't be stupid. This isn't the sort of thing you can sell to a hawk shop. Forget it, Kim. Put it on the ground. Lay down your weapons, all of you. Sucker. Back off! Oh, go! Way back! Zach, it's a real piss off, huh? Stay here.
I'm okay. Stay there. Jerry must have tripped on a computer of surprises. The roof fell in. Sorry, Sue. Jai was a good man. I should have known never to trust Jerry. Come on, we have to find another way out. Stay away, we'll make it out of there. Drops here. Not too deep. Okay. Stand back. surviving is to never believe in anything else. There's no way Camaro would have let himself get stuck in here. Here. I'll find a way out. and the Japanese consul. I don't want to reward Sue. 
keep it. It's yours. I didn't ask you to save me. I didn't ask you to come into my life. But you did. And I'm glad. You have to let it out. to Phuket. We'd like a room for a few nights, please. Few? A couple, two, three. Go home, Saksum Sal. Kunta. Ka. Connor Sun, I have spoken to His Excellency, the Ambassador. He asked me to tell you, we will be proud to receive Kananote on behalf of the Japanese people. Would 10 a.m. tomorrow be a suitable time? Perfect, Mr. Connors. Subject to the verification, the reward will be paid by a certified check for the amount of $2 million. I look forward to meeting you. And I, you. My ambassador has also asked me to thank you for the That? information relating to Sergeant Kimura. We shall inform his family immediately. Make sure you tell them he was a brave soldier. I shall. Goodbye, Mr. Connors. See you now, Teko san. Telephone, Yamaguchi san. はい、もしもし、山口ですが、いやいやいや、どうもお世話になっておりまして。I don't understand why Japan should buy back its own national treasure from a foreigner. I agree, but the ambassador has given his word. He will keep it. It will bring great honor to our Yakuza family if we restore Kanon no Te to our country. And would say paying the reward. Sometimes, Shoda, I wonder if I will ever be able to teach you good business. There is no dishonor in accepting a reward for act of Aikokushi. I haven't been to a restaurant in so many years. Hey, without you, I'd have settled for a hamburger. <laughs> Like the dress? Oh, the dresses are all wonderful. Thank you so much, really. For everything. It's a lovely night. It's a perfect night.
Lights out, buddy. Ninja, a trained assassin. General! See my son. Moshiwaka Ari Masen. G American will take the sword to the consulate this morning. Hi, I know Yamaguchi son, but I have made arrangements. <sighs> Free on me again. I shall scatter your ashes on the dung heap. Wakataka! Hi. a drink. Would you like some ice? Oh, no. Water. Here, this will make you feel better. Self-love. If you don't, you've lost the war anyway.
feel about coming back to the States with me? I don't know. Yeah, look, I know you how your village and your people to think about. You don't have to give me an answer straight away. It's not that I don't want to. I know that. Delay. Thanks. Mr. Connors. I am Tenko from the Japanese consulate. 
that Connors. When you missed our appointment, I was curious and came down looking for you. I'm sorry, Mr. Tanko. Something came up. I'll tell you about it while I change. <laughs> Keep moving, bitch. No doubt you are wondering why you are here. I never wonder about thieves and murderers. You are a disgrace to Japan. This will be Connors. You tell him to give the sword to me if you want to stay alive. Moshi Moshi. Stan Connors. Oh, Mr. Connors, I have a young lady here who wishes to speak to you. Speak. Speak! Oi! Another girl! Zack, tell him to get skilled! Ah! You hurt Sue and you're dead, asshole. There is no need for personal abuse, Mr. Connors. You have something I want. It's deal. How do we make a swap? You bring Kanon no Te to my home and leave with the girl. No, Zack! <laughs> Sounds one-sided to me. How do I know you won't kill us both? I am man of honor. You have my word. A wise warrior would use any means to lower his adversary's guard. So, you are a student of Tsunatomo. Mr. Kanas, then you must realize you have no choice. Bring the sword to me, or the girl dies. Very slowly. Check the pagoda. the men in place? Hi, Yamaguchi-san. Kanas made a mistake in telling me. He studies the philosophy of Tsunatomo. He will not arrive by the front door. But he agreed to your terms. And knows better than to trust me. <coughs> no! She will pay for that later. It's my problem, take son I'll deal with it. No, Mr. Connors, as I told you this morning, I will go to see Yamaguchi. Make him listen to reason. Don't waste your breath. Guys like him don't understand the meaning of reason. I have a responsibility to my government to resolve this peacefully. Tenko-san, this is my obligation. My giddy.
Nothing yet. That's America is near. I know he is. I can sense him. Don't hope for the American to help you. Soon you'll both be dead. You mean hell fast. You asshole! Yamaguchi, let the woman go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pinko, san, just let's go. 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 I have given my word to Connors. Please, Yamaguchi-san, we must think of the honor of our nation. You disgust me. You talk like women. Why should Japan pay for that sword? Because Mr. Connors has faced great danger to return Kananote to Japan. <laughs>
Sui! Zach! Are you okay? Yes! He has a gun! Carters! Why don't you give it up? Hand over Kano no Te and you can go free with the girl. I cannot let you do this. Give me the gun. Magero, do get it!
Sorry, Mr. Connors. I could not stop Yamaguchi. Please take Kananote to the consulate. Yokiri is complete. I'll tell him you died bravely, Take our son. Like a true samurai. Yeah. 